good evening children welcome to yep master the school foundation program okay i am your chemistry teacher in the previous classes uh, we have discussed about the physical classification of matter right so we can classify the matter into five different uh, categories that is solid liquid and gases as well as the plasma and bose einstein condensate we have discussed okay and uh, we have even gone through the uh, different uh, properties the physical properties of solids liquids and gases because these are the three different components of matter which we generally encounter in our day to day life okay so in that case we we have even discussed how the plasma is going to be formed and uh, it what condition the bose einstein going to be formed so the condensate formation as well as the plum plasma formation require low and as well as high temperatures so that we have discussed so on uh, overall if you observe when we classify the matter into in a, a physical classification if you observe we can classify the matter in uh, five categories bose einstein condensate solid liquid gas and lastly we have the plasma okay so depending upon the temperature you can observe the different formation of different states of the matter okay now in this class uh, let us discuss about the <coughs> chemical classification let us discuss about the chemical classification in this particular class right so as we have done in the case of uh, physical classification here the matter can be classified into two categories so when you look at the chemical classification under chemical classification matter can be classified into two categories what are they pure substance so it is a compound organic adi chemical compound which is pure in nature pure substance pure in nature so no impurities are present in it okay so it is pure in nature pure substance it is pure in nature when we have two pure substances mixed to there what we are going to get we get a mixture so here the other side of matter other chemical classification of matter is mixture so it is very clear that uh, on chemical basis if we are going to classify the matter we can classify the matter into two categories one is pure substance other is mixture pure substance means the substance the compound chemical compound is pure in its nature it is pure in nature so when uh, mixture is going to be obtained so mixture is obtained by the combination of the substances the combination of substances takes place in any proportion okay whenever we combine two pure substances together for example if i am having pure crystalline sugar pure crystalline sugar is pure substance okay so if i am taking milk milk uh, of course it is not a pure if i take water pure water let us say i have taking pure water pure water is a pure substance pure water in the sense it doesn't have any other components pure water okay so pure water and uh, pure sugar sugar purity it is completely pure so it is a pure substance water is also doesn't have any other components let us say here we have taking pure water so this is also pure substance so water is a one pure substance sugar is one more pure substance so when i am combining these two what i am going to get i am going to get a solution what is that sugar solution in that case what i have i have i have sugar as well as water so the combination of pure substances will result in the formation of a mixture okay so in nature if you observe matter can be taken in terms of pure substances or it can be taken in the form of a mixture pure substance means it is pure with in nature so it should be completely pure no contaminations should present no impurity is there in that particular substance that substance is taken as pure substance okay so whenever we have a pure substance and if if i am having two or more pure substances and i am mixing all the pure substance with one another we end up with the formation of a mixture of course mixture will have any proportion i can take a 1 liter of water only one spoon of sugar i will get a solution that can be taken as mixture or i can take 1 liter of water i can add two spoons of sugar tablespoons that can also be taken as a mixture 1 liter of water if i am adding 3 spoons of sugar i am getting sugar solution in that case also we are getting mixture but what is varying here i am varying this particular sugar in one case i have added only one spoon in other case 
2 spoons. In third case, I have added 3 spoons of sugar to 1 litre of water. So, whatever may be the composition we are going to take for the formation of the mixture. Mixture can be simply given as combination of pure substances. So, when pure substances are combined together, we end up with the formation of a mixture, but the combination can take place in any proportion. There is not a fixed proportion. You should mix only 1 liter with 1 spoon of sugar. No, you can do any combination, any proportions can be mixed so that we end up with the formation of mixture. Okay? I think you have got a clear idea now that uh, matter can be chemically divided into two categories. One is pure substance, other is mixture. Okay? Now, let us look at uh, the pure substance. What does uh, the pure substance is and how we can divide the pure substance again? Pure substance can be further divided into two categories. Pure substance is further divided into two categories. Okay, two more categorization under pure substance we have. First one is element. First one is element. When elements are, of course, you know that uh, in periodic table we have 118 elements. So, element means it is pure form. When I say hydrogen element, what I mean? I mean pure hydrogen only. Oxygen element, I mean only pure oxygen. Okay? So, in case of periodic table, if you observe, we have 118 elements. 118 elements are available in the periodic table. So, element is a pure form. Okay? Right. So, when elements combine together, when elements combine together, atoms of element when they combine, we get corresponding compounds. For example, water, how we are getting? Pure hydrogen, pure oxygen, when they are reacting together, we get compound. So, here hydrogen element is pure element okay? and uh, oxygen is one more element which are pure. Of course, we have 118 elements. When you take exclusive that element, that is pure only. There is no doubt. So, elements are come under pure, pure substance only. Pure substance can be taken, categorized into two categories. One is element, other is compound. Okay? So, element, hydrogen and oxygen. For example, in this case, hydrogen element, if I say hydrogen is pure hydrogen element only. Oxygen element means it is pure substance only. But uh, compound means the atoms of hydrogen and oxygen, if they are reacting together. Here, what we are going to get is water. Okay. So, here if I observe two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen reacting together giving water. So, water is a compound. What is water? Water is a compound. So, we can say water is an example of compound. Okay. So, how the compound is obtained? Compound is obtained by the combination of atoms of elements. So, pure substance can be two types. One is element, other the combination of element that is compound. Okay. So, elements and uh, compounds can be taken as pure substances. Again, if you observe, again, if you observe, the elements are categorized. As I told you, we have 118 elements in the periodic table. So, these 118 elements which are present in the periodic table can be categorized into three groups again. What are they? Metals, non-metals, metalloids. Metals, metalloids, non metals okay so pure substance further divided into two categories elements and compounds compounds are obtained by the combination of elements okay and when you see elements exclusively again they can be classified as metals non metals and metalloids so three categorization is possible again for elements of course, uh, we can have compounds, there is no further division in the case of compounds. Okay? So, this is how we can categorize the pure substance. In the initial, we have seen that uh, on chemical classification, whenever we ca categorize the matter on a chemical basis, it can be categorized as pure substance and mixture. When you look at only the pure substance, pure substance is further divided into elements and the combination of element that is compounds. Okay? Elements are further divided into three categories, metals, non-metals, metalloids. Right? So, we have three different categories for the elements. Now, let us look at the mixture. As I told you, <coughs> mixture is a combination of pure substances. Okay? So, it is uh, the combination of pure substance, 
pure substances for example two or more pure substances when they combine together we end up with the formation of a mixture. Mixture further divided into two categories, mixture further divided into two categories. First one is homogeneous mixture, first is called as homogeneous mixture, second one is called as heterogeneous mixture. What do you mean by homogeneous mixture and what do you mean by heterogeneous mixture? Homogeneous mixture means this is the mixture in which the composition is same. This is a mixture in which the composition is same throughout the mixture. So, whenever we are mixing two pure substances to get a mixture, if you observe that mixture, if the composition remain constant throughout the mixture, then that mixture is said to be homogeneous mixture. If the composition is not same, if the composition of the mixture is not same, Okay. If the composition is not same throughout the mixture, in that case we get a heterogeneous mixture, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. So, two different types of mixtures are possible. When the pure substances are mixed together, they mix in a even proportion and a complete mixing takes place and thereby we get a mixture having composition same throughout the mixture. That mixture is said to be homogeneous mixture. And uh, if we are mixing two pure substances with one another, but they are not mixing in even fashion and the mixing is not a completely taking place, in that case the composition is not same throughout the mixture. So, there we end up with the formation of a heterogeneous mixture. Okay. So, do not confuse, do not bother about all the terms, we are going to discuss one, uh, one by one, every one. Okay. We are going to discuss first with the pure substances, in that case we first focus on the elements, then we move on to the compounds and then we come across the mixtures, the heterogeneous mixture, homogeneous mixture, we are going to discuss each and everything what we have shown here. Okay. So, do not worry, but uh, just understand that in the case of homogeneous mixture, composition will remain the same, in the heterogeneous mixture, the composition will not be same throughout the mixture. Okay. So, this thing uh, keeping in the classification of matter if you observe, so in a overall, this is an overall classification, matter is divided into pure substance as well as mixture. When we are looking at only the pure substances, it can be categorized as element as well as compound. Okay. And the elements are further classified as metals, metalloids, non-metals. Okay. There is no classification for the compounds. Okay. Coming to the mixtures, the other side of the matter, okay. one is a homogeneous mixture, other is heterogeneous mixture. So, this is the, the overall chemical classification of matter. Okay, this is the overall chemical classification of matter. So, on the chemical uh, basis or chemistry basis if you take or the chemical properties basis if you categorized, we can categorize the matter into these many different categories. Okay. So, we have to look after one, I mean all these uh, statements that are given, all the different types of categories that are given. Okay. First, we will look at only the pure substances, we wind up all these things and then we move on to the mixture. Okay? Right. What is pure substance then? How to define a pure substance? Which substance is taken as a pure substance? Can anybody explain? Yeah. If you look at the definition, a pure substance may be defined as a homogeneous material which particles of one kind and has a definite set of properties. Okay. A homogeneous material which has a particles of one kind okay, and uh, has a definite set of properties. So, it is uh, homogeneous in its composition okay, and the particles are of only one kind and they will have a particular properties complete one properties that can be taken as a pure substance. For example, as I told you we can take a pure oxygen, it is a pure substance. If you are taking water, pure water is a pure substance. Okay. As I told you the sugar, if you are taking pure sugar, so C6H2O6 can also be considered as a pure component glucose. Okay. Similarly, we can take a pure hydrogen gas, pure nitrogen gas pure carbon dioxide, okay, pure carbon monoxide, 
pure components okay they will have homogeneous material so within the oxygen if you observe within the oxygen we have only one kind of atoms what are they one kind of in the sense here particles are one kind oxygen molecules only oxygen molecules are present in this case if you observe water water contains only water molecules only water molecules are present no other particles are present because water is pure okay and uh, glucose if you are taking pure glucose it contains only the glucose molecules no other particles are there so this is pure if you are considering the hydrogen gas in that case it contains only hydrogen molecules h2 molecules so this is considered to be a pure one no other components are present if you are taking only carbon dioxide carbon dioxide contain carbon dioxide molecules so this is pure if you are taking carbon monoxide carbon monoxide contain carbon monoxide molecule it's pure okay so pure substances is generally categorized as a homogeneous material which has particles of one kind and it will have a definite set of properties so the properties will also have a definite set for example oxygen is used for respiration purposes water drinking purposes hydrogen for liberating the or preparation of water or it can be used as a energy source okay so this is used as a carbohydrate carbon dioxide and uh, used by the plants so the properties will be fixed for this particular material chemical substances so a chemical substance which is homogeneous in nature and uh, which has a particles of only one kind particles means here the molecules or even for example if you are taking a uh, helium gas in that case it is atom okay pure helium gas if i am taking helium is pure in this case means it has only helium atoms particles means generally it can be with respect to the molecules or with respect to the atoms okay so a homogeneous material which has a only one uh, particles of one kind and exhibiting a definite set of properties is said to be a pure substance okay right what are the characteristics of this particular pure substances how we can uh, analyze that the given compound is pure or not so depending upon the characteristics exhibited by the pure substance we can categorize it as a pure substance so when you observe a pure substance is homogeneous in nature it will have the same composition as i told you homogeneous means homogeneous in nature so same composition throughout okay so this is going to have same composition for example if i am taking water as a pure substances so without any impurity if i am taking water in that case if i observe water inside only water molecules are present only water molecule no other particles are there no other molecules are there it because it is pure okay so when it has only water molecules whenever in any direction if i go it will have only water molecule no other composition is possible so it is homogeneous in nature okay a pure substance has a definite set of properties it will have a definite set of properties water is used for drinking purposes water is used for the solvent for the reactions to carry out okay it is used as a green solvent so the properties of water are fixed the physical property boiling point of water fixed the freezing point of water fixed so the properties will be fixed in this case pure substance always will have a definite set of properties so purity of a sample can be easily identified through its melting point and boiling point boiling point and melting points are useful in identifying the purity of a substance so for example if i taking if i am taking water as a pure substance so within the water if you i am looking it will have a homogeneous uh, throughout uh, the water that i have taken by taking 1 liter of water within 1 liter we have only water molecules no other particles are present okay and moreover the when i cool it it will be freezed at 0 degree centigrade when i heat it it can boil at 100 degree centigrade so the properties of water are fixed if any impurity is present in the water it is not going to be freeze at exactly 0 degree it does not boil exactly at 100 degree centigrade so there will be a fluctuation in the boiling point and melting points so the properties of the compound get changes because of presence of impurity so when it is a pure it will have a definite set of properties so the properties are going to be fixed in this case okay so pure substance has definite set of properties these properties are different from the properties of other substances the properties of other substances for example when you take hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen melting point hydrogen uh, oxygen melting point they are different because both are different substances the boiling point of water and boiling point of ethyl alcohol different because ethyl alcohol is a different compound 
water is different compound. So, different pure substance if you are going to take, different pure substances will have different set of definite properties. So, definite properties are present, ethyl alcohol will have its own boiling point. If I take pure ethyl alcohol, pure ethyl alcohol will have its own freezing point, its own boiling point. So, it will have again a set of properties and ethyl alcohol throughout it is a homogeneous. So, ethyl alcohol can be considered as a pure substance. So, pure substances generally they will exhibit homogeneity, the composition will remain throughout the mixture, uh, throughout the compound okay. and moreover they will have a definite set of properties. So, properties are going to be fixed and these properties are different from the properties of other substances. So, when we compare with other substance properties, the properties of the pure substance are going to be differing. Okay. And third one if you observe, the composition of pure substance cannot be altered by any physical means. That is to say that the composition of a pure substance cannot be changed. It is not possible to change the composition of a pure substance by physical methods. So, we, whenever you use a physical method, in that case we cannot change the pure substance composition. For example, if I am taking water as a pure substance, okay, so I cannot change the composition of water by physical means. How many, uh, what is the composition here we have? We have two hydrogen atoms okay, and one oxygen atom. Okay. So, the composition of water will remain as H2O, I cannot change it by physical means. For example, what do you mean by physical state? For example, if I am going for filtration, if I filter the water through a funnel automatically, what happens? Can I change the H2O? Is it possible to change the number of hydrogen and oxygen atoms in that case? No, we cannot change the hydrogen and oxygen atoms by physical methods. So, pure substance composition cannot be altered, cannot be changed by physical means. So, whatever may be the physical means you are going to use, we are not going to change it. If I am going to decrease the temperature, if I am going to increase the temperature, the composition will not changes by just physical means, filtration, decantation, etc. Okay? Right. How we can change the physical, I mean the composition of a pure substance only by chemical reactions, we can alter or we can change the composition of a pure substance. Right. All elements are pure substances. One more com, uh, condition you can observe here. Elements, all the elements that are available to us, all the elements that are available to us, they are all pure substances only. They are all pure substances only. All compounds that are available to us, all the compounds are also pure substances only. In the pure substance category, we have discussed that pure substances are Again, two types, elements and compounds. So, all the elements present in the periodic table are pure substances. Whenever elements are combining together, in that case we get compounds. So, all the compounds that are obtained by the combination of elements also a pure substance. For example, water you can take. Water is obtained as a compound from combination of hydrogen element and oxygen element. Two hydrogen atoms of hydrogen element one atom of oxygen element, when they combine, we get water. Okay. So, water is a compound and moreover, water is a pure substance. So, all the compounds are pure, all the elements are pure. The composition of pure substance cannot be changed by physical methods. This, this has to be very careful, not chemical methods. Nana. Okay. It, it is physical methods. So, by physical methods, we cannot change the composition of a pure substance. Okay. And uh, pure substance will have a homogeneity and moreover pure substance will have a definite set of properties. So, if I am taking two different uh, pure substances, the properties of one substances will not match with the properties of other substance. So, the properties are going to change. So, properties of one pure substance is different from the properties of other pure substance. So, there is a change in the that, uh, case of properties that we can observe for the compounds or the, uh, the pure substances here. Okay? Right. Sometimes the substances which we commonly called pure may not be pure. You just observe the statement ma. Substances which are commonly called pure may not be pure from chemist point of view. So, when a chemist look at this compound, what happens? He says that they are not pure. But of course, as you, you can, you may think that they are, they, they are called as pure substances, but they are not pure. Best example, if we observe, 
tap water when you collect a tap water the tap water looks clear it's very clear can we say it is a pure pure water no so clear tap water clear in the sense there is no other uh, particles present in that okay the visible particles okay so clear tap water the tap water if you are going to collect in a glass if it is very clear clear water there is no other substance present but is not pure it cannot be considered as a pure why along with the water it also contains some amounts of dissolved salts it may contain even dissolved oxygen in it so whenever we are going to collect a sample of water from pond or maybe from a tap generally it contains oxygen or air dissolved in it or some of the salts will dissolved in it but as they are dissolved in water we cannot see with our naked eye okay but the look the water sample looks like a clear one but whenever we say clear tap water it is as people say it's a pure water only but it will have dissolved salts as well as dissolved air okay so clear tap water is not pure substance it will contain salts as well as air in order to get a pure water you have to remove the salts and you have to remove the air that is taken as pure water okay and similarly if you observe milk honey milk and honey if, if you see milk milk is very pure you can see right can we consider milk as a pure substance no why milk is not a pure substance why it is because of it is made up of fat carbohydrates proteins vitamins water minerals salts etc so it has milk has fats it will have a carbohydrate in it it is going to have a proteins it has vitamins and of course it also has water so all these are combinedly forming milk so milk is not a pure substance milk is not a pure substance we cannot consider milk as a pure substance okay so this is not a considered as milk is not considered as a pure substance if you look at honey honey also looks very pure right so but honey is also not a pure substance why it is so it contains number of other substances in addition to the sugar honey tastes with a i mean sweet taste right it is mainly because of the sugar component along with the sugar it has so many other components in it so honey is not also considered as a pure substance honey is not a pure substance milk is not a pure substance clear tap water is not a pure substance fruit juices i think uh, you have enjoyed the fruit juices right at home your mother used to prepare right so fruit juice as you see they looks very clear it is not a pure one why in the case of fruit juice it contains sugar mineral salts and a number of other compounds we have we are going to add even water sugar for taste so already it will have some minerals in it so minerals are present so juice if you take fruit juice fruit juice is not a pure substance okay one more thing what is that medicines so if you take any tablet it looks very uh, i mean pure one right generally we only take pure uh, component as a medicine right but of course if you have any chance of uh, looking at the composition look at the take the tablets the strip or the packet for the syrup and observe what are the components present in it it will have a 3 to 4 mixture of components okay so therefore we can say that medicines are generally made by mixing different substances in different ratios so because of the presence of different substances medicine is also a not a pure compound not a pure substance it is a combination of 2 and 3 generally depending upon the solubility of the medicine generally whenever we take medicine it has to dissolve in water and it should be distributed to the other parts of the body so that the the, the component can be dissolved or it should be i mean what do you call the solution has to be obtained okay so therefore we are going to mix the different components in the medicine to get the medicine so medicines also cannot be considered as pure substances i think uh, you got the clear idea what are pure substances or what are not pure substances we will see some more interesting topics in the next class until then have a nice time ma thank you